Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka A Job, my lovely fiance Danny, aka A Job. I bring you guys the next episode, episode five of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Love Lock. The wait, what? Did you oh, say it? Oh, you're laughing. Okay, well that's weird. We're gonna keep it anyway. If you guys missed the last episode, check it out in the description below. Show your love with that like button down below if you guys are hyped. We got a really cool topic today, and hopefully we'll be able to take on Roxanne, the first gym leader, uh, on our travels here. So we did just catch a new Pokemon, and I did want to go and grab the TM for Echoed Voice, which I know I have. And I'm gonna teach it to Bandito, because Bandito's uh, moveset is slacking a little bit, and I need him to start to kind of step it up here. But I'm excited, because I think we can actually have a decent opportunity to take on the gym leader here and see how that goes. But anyway, in the meantime, we're gonna be playing and talking here. So our question today comes Bug from- resist water? No. Water is good. You're good. Oh, just, just keep- just keep attacking with the water. You're good. Um, grass was this one. Uh, so we got Munching Ginger Gross. coming through <laughs> with our question of the day saying, I'm 16 and I'm going to college with my girl uh, and I'm hoping to ask her to marry me after college. Am I too young? That's the question right there. So our question is, how young is too young for marriage? So we're going to kind of answer Munching Ginger's question and also kind of answer the other question of what, you know, what's too young for marriage, whatever. So here's my thoughts on this. And I want to give you guys the backstory that these are our opinions. We might have different ones. We didn't talk about it prior. So we might have different ones. But We're going to have different ones. I these, guarantee it. <laughs> these are our opinions. <laughs> And your opinion and situation might be different, and that goes with really anything, but just to throw that out there. So here's my opinion on it. I personally, in the year 2016, would never marry someone until after I was done getting my education. And here's my logic behind this. Uh, I am someone with a degree. Danny actually has two, so we, we both have uh, an education. And I personally would not have wanted to get married. And now knowing what I know, at 25 years old, we're both 25, knowing what I know now, I'm glad that that was my stance. And here's the reasoning. Uh, when you're in high school and when you're in college, and let's assume you're, uh, whether you're doing that or not, let's say you're in the between 18 and 25-ish, 24-ish, let's or 22, whatever. Anyway, somewhere in that range, uh, you're still kind of growing as a person. Uh, you're growing a lot as a person. So uh, maybe some of the feelings and thoughts that you have when you're 16, 17, 18 are they're likely to be a little bit different than when you're 23 and 24 because one you're going to have a ton of more responsibilities so your perspectives on different things in life are going to be a lot different uh, and the people you meet and stuff are going to be different too and those people are going to have different kind of stances and views on things and, and different priorities and stuff like that so there's a very very drastic difference between Dan me at, at 17 and 18 versus now and I can tell you from just saying that alone that's kind of where I'm coming to my conclusion of I, I feel like I know Munching Ginger wasn't saying he was going to get married at 16. He was saying, hey, I'm 16 and I want to get married when I'm done with college. Am I too young? Well, I think that's a great kind of ideal right now at age 16. And I would say, and I tell this to anyone, like if you're 16 in your relationship, man, just have fun with it. Treat each other with respect. Show each other the respect that you both deserve and see where things go. You know what I mean? Do your best effort to keep things together if that's how it's going to work. But if things don't work out, then they don't work out. At age 16, it's very, very tough, and, and you have your whole life in front of you to figure out what you're gonna do with your career, what's, you know, where your family's gonna be. They, there's so many things that, that kind of happen in that period of time, in that transition period in time, and, and I just would hate to see someone uh, not make the choices that they wanna make because of uh, you know someone that that they may not end up being with ultimately. So, um, and I know this happens a lot. People you know might go to colleges, to, to be with the girl or whatever it may be at the end of the day just remember you know I'm not gonna ever take away from your relationship or say that it's not real or whatever it is but you have to you have to focus on you at the end of the day and that's my belief you have to focus on yourself and make sure that you're in the best position that you can be so that way you can take care of and be a, a great partner for someone else down the I, road I think I actually need you to take care of me right now what do I do here <laughs> okay so this is, <laughs> this is a Meryl it's water and fairy type so what I would recommend against that would be either a grass type Pokemon would be really good uh, mushy, mushy. Mushy would probably be pretty uh, pretty good. You could what level is Mushy? Eleven. Uh, yeah, I mean you could just use Absorb with Mushy. Otherwise, you can start tackling either one, um, whichever you prefer. Mudkip looks so cute, but be careful because if this Meryl starts using the move Rollout, you're gonna be in some trouble. I'm gonna warn you right now. You're not helping me. I just switched. I know, but we gotta see what he's using. Do you use Rollout? There's the rollout. Okay, so we gotta see how much this is gonna do. Cause rollout is one of those moves that. Okay, so we're gonna have to be very careful here. I want you to go. I'm, I'm gonna help you. Cause rollout's just a very scary move. You're gonna fight, and I want you to go for. I'm thinking. This is a tough decision here. I'm thinking you gotta go absorb, 
You gotta go for absorb. So you could try to stun swerve, but if you miss, you're gonna be in trouble. This is tough. There's nothing you can do about it. It's just a rolling out Meryl. You gotta gotta just go with the punches. So you're gonna so go I for absorb. I can't leave when it rolls out or something. Well, the problem is rollouts damage. It doubles every turn. Yeah. As long as he hits it. So if he keeps hitting rollouts, it's gonna start doing a lot of damage to you. So I think you're gonna be okay. Uh, if you just keep clicking absorb, I think two more absorbs will knock him out. You should be able to live two more rollouts. But rollout is one of those moves that it just it's like the ender ender of Nuzlocks. It just because if you don't have anything to beat him fast enough, it, like eventually his rollout is gonna get so strong that he'll just one shot everything on your team. But I think you're gonna be okay. I think if you just absorb again, you'll be fine. So no worries. You just gotta be very careful with the rollout. It's just one of those moves. Ugh, damn it. Oh, he's still living. Still living. I think you'll be okay though. He might has always has a chance to miss too, but I think at this point you should be able to live the hit. See how much that does. But your absorb will knock him out. You actually got the effect spore, which is your hidden ability, or it's your ability. You have a 30% chance of your opponent getting paralyzed, put to sleep, or poison. In this case, you got poison, so his Meryl's out. So that cool. works out well. So you got lucky. And now I have to take on that same Meryl and hope that I don't have any problems here myself. Um, so anyway, uh, you can give your perspective now on, on your thoughts on marriage and how young is too young and all that stuff because. Uh, so my <laughs> opinion is. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. That it's not up to me, it's up to you. So, well, okay, so there is one thing. It's not, if, if you get married under the age of 18, your parents have to approve it. If you're doing something of which your parents have to approve, that's meant for adults to do, adults get married, then you probably shouldn't be getting married. So I would say that the youngest age would be the one of which you can legally make the decision yourself. So that's the youngest age. Now, aside from that, there's so many other pieces that go into, well, first of all, should I be going up? Uh, no, you keep going to the right. There's one more trainer, and then we're gonna, um, that, we're gonna take um, on the gym. Pokemon. So get ready for the gym, because it's coming. Um, so yeah, other than that, aside, so if we're looking at just an exact number, 18 is that minimum number. Um, that's not really the norm today. My parents actually got engaged at 17 and 18 and married at 18 and 19, and 33 years later, they're still together. So it's not that it won't work, but obviously beyond that, you, you need to be perfect for each other. Um, I just feel like it's so hard to know what perfect is for you if you haven't, okay. if you haven't well, even figured I, out what you I want yet. I haven't gotten there yet, but unlike you, I can't focus on the game and speaking at the same time. So I'm going back and forth here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but when you, by the time you do get married, you, what wasn't as much of a, a thing, I feel like, back when my parents, is this the training? Yeah, he's the last one we'll face. Um, when my parents were younger, when they went to college, they went to college right nearby. So... They were, they were still, well, I mean, I guess my parents are totally different because of the fact that they got married before they even went to college. But if you were in a situation where um, you were going to a local college, both of you, and you had just been in high school together, then chances are you're not going to meet that many new people. But if you are traveling and you are staying at different colleges, even if you're staying at the same colleges, you're gonna meet so many people. And so I would say between Dan and I, we both are recommending, I usually speak much better, but this is just so difficult right now to focus on both water, right? Yep. Um, I think that when it comes to a number, 18 would be what I would say is the lowest number, but there's so many other pieces you have to remember from how much you're gonna change to what you're planning on doing your, with your life in comparison to what the other person's doing. If you're both not going to college and you both are just looking to, to start a family immediately and that has always been your hope and dream and you're not always at each other's throats, you don't argue all the time, you really truly feel you're deeply, deeply in love, then maybe it's right. But if there are little things going wrong... Don't learn the move, miss. It's terrible. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I can't do this like Dan can. You're good. I, like, I, I'm trying to like half focus on one topic, <laughs> half on the other, and I, it like stops me in my tracks. That's okay. You're learning. I'm just gonna like keep blabbering. They're gonna this be like, is, all right, Danny, we got it. I just wanna throw this out there, guys. Like, It is very, very challenging to play through a game and talk 
and, and provide commentary on YouTube like so many YouTubers do. You now you see guys like, oh, you want to learn Mega Drain? Delete Absorb. Mega Drain is just a better Absorb. Oh. You see guys like, uh, you know, I don't want to use myself, but guys like Shady Penguin, King Nappy, you know, some of the big Pokemon YouTuber guys, they do it effortlessly. They just talk and play and they have no problems. But it is actually a very, very uh, tough skill to, to kind of pick up. And it takes time. Uh, I can tell you the time. It, I, I actually learned talking and playing pretty effectively from doing Call of Duty. But it's, it's a very tough skill. So bear with Danny. I think you're doing great. So don't worry about it. Thanks. You can just click water gun and I'm sure you'll be fine. Because Geodude is going to get destroyed. Um, so I don't but know. Yes, I have changed so much from the time I was with my first boyfriend to when I met Dan. I've, I've totally changed so much. My, my taste, my, even my own self-worth has changed so much. I mean, the person that I was with when I was much younger did not treat me the way I felt I needed to be treated now at 25 that Dan treats me. It, it's just there's so many things about yourself that's going to change. There's so many things about the other person that's going to change. Um, it's, it's just in my opinion, worth it. I, I think that if you are 18 and you're about to go off to college and the two of you really feel like you're gonna get married, that's fine. And um, there's plenty of people that give promise rings um, just to say I'm gonna be loyal to you while you're at college. Um, I think that's great. Um, promise rings, unfortunately, don't really mean anything. I. <laughs> I had Careful several. There. <laughs> Careful there. Not for me. Never a promise ring for me. So I gave the real ring. That's, but it was a that's good, it. it was like a way of saying even though we're apart, I'm gonna be loyal. So like there I mean you, you can no one's saying <gasps> that <gasps> <laughs> I love that little jump of excitement. <laughs> No one's saying that you need to break up with your high school sweetheart when you go off to college, but you pr you probably just be don't aware. Marry them. Just be yes. just be open minded. I'm saying. Now I'm not saying go to college and cheat on people. Stay no. faithful. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be in a relationship, then you have to be mature enough to to be responsible and tell the other person that you want to take some time. That's that's really what it comes down to. Very good move. Definitely teach Mudshot over Mud Slap. Uh, what are the other moves? Uh, actually, delete Growl for Mudshot. I would say. Yeah, because you can just still use Mud Slap. We're ready for the gym. Are you ready for the gym now? I think sure. you could do it. You could do it. All right. You could do it. I'm ready. Let's do this. Did, did, did I blab all of my feelings in between my thoughts about Pokemon here? I think you're doing great. So I'm well. really struggling. I'm I'm so sorry, everyone who's listened to me blab. I, I usually have very straightforward, clean thoughts. I'm very good in an interview, but this this thing isn't you're, working. You're gonna out be right fine. Now, so you're so gonna head now. left. You're gonna go back to the original town that we were just in. And look at you skillfully dodging the Pokemon in the grass. Nope. Jinxed me! Yeah. It's because you, you didn't you didn't take the right angle. That's it. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we're gonna take on the gym here. Roxanne. I know she has two Pokemon. I believe she's got a Geodude and a Nose Pass. So um, you should probably run, but that's okay. Um, so, what do you think of your ev evolved Mudkip here? He's a cutie. He's a cutie. You think so? Do you know what his name is? Guppy. Do you know? Do you know what her name is when it's not? I wasn't. Guppy? I wasn't paying attention to what it said. He walked into. It doesn't matter. It's just Guppy. All right. Well, it is called a Marsh Tomp, and one of the cool things about Marsh Tomp that you need to is be, it secretly a marshmallow? What? It, it is secretly a marshmallow. <laughs> no. So I, I have to. I have to educate here. Ready? So why don't you heal? So here's one of the things about Marsh Tomp that's very good and very bad. So Marsh Tomp now becomes water and ground. Okay. So instead of being just water, he's water and ground type. In a marsh. Yes. So what that means, though, is it means he has no weaknesses except for grass. But grass is going to be really, 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 really good against you now. So anytime you face a grass type, you should probably... Run away. You should probably switch to a different Pokemon. It's probably the better option. Okay. But what are you doing? Are you healing up here? Getting comfortable. Getting, getting. We don't have time to get comfortable. we got to take on the gym leader, honey. We got the gym. Yeah, I gotta be comfortable to be able to beat this gym leader. Okay. You healed up? You ready to go? I All don't right. Know. Do you know where the gym is? So who should I have in front? Still Mudkip? Well if you just use if you use Guppy, well it's a marsh top now. If you use Guppy, you'll just destroy the gym. Like you'll it won't even be a problem. So let's do it. Oh, and by the way, you know I called Matang the entire playthrough. Yes, was Metagross was a Matang the entire playthrough. All right, I'm actually gonna try to get fancy here. I'm gonna use Bandito and see if I could beat the gym with Bandito at first. But why are you trying to get fancy? All right, I'm not gonna get fancy. 
No, I'm gonna get fancy. Bandito can put in the work. I'll be fine. I mean, fine. I guess I haven't really used that you little use thing. You gotta use her, you gotta use her, uh, her. Just as I, I don't remember what I did. Just as I swept it. That was what I, something like that. <laughs> I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? <laughs> 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 I feel like that's what she would have done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Roxanne, the rock type gym leader, are you ready? It seems like you're ready. Geodude. Oh, I can handle this one. I know how to fight this one. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. No, so here's a fun fact. I'm ready. So I'm water is four times super effective against Geodude. Mud shot is two times super effective against you, dude. So water gun is the better play here. I will say that. Yes, four is indeed larger than two. Thank you. Bam. Oh well, he's got a, he's got a sturdy. We went for rock tomb. Bandito. All right. Forget these games. We're not messing around, Bandito. We don't have time for this. Hit him with a headbutt. Boom. See that damage I just did? Oh, she used a potion. How dare she? Welcome to the gym leaders. They always use potions. They're annoying. You know what? I'm gonna use water gun. Get out of my house! Bye bye. See you later, Gia dude. All right. Now you have to face Nose Pass. Now, pro tip about Nose Pass: you're better off using Mud Shot against Nose Pass instead of Water Gun, because uh, Mud Shot will do more. As long as you don't miss, I guess. But because Rock is it, Nose Pass is only a Rock type, so that's why you're gonna want to use Mud Shot instead. Now you have a chance to miss, but I think you'll be okay. It's like a 90% accurate move, I think. Of course you miss it. Of course you miss it. Every time you mention that I could miss it, I miss it. So I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I don't know what to say. My mud kip goes down, Dan. I, I'm quitting the playthrough. So okay. You better hold you it. You can't together. do that. You can't just say that because that's that's not a good thing. But <laughs> you're not allowed to quit, honey. Well, you you better make sure your trico. Nothing happens to that trico. My trico is gonna I be, be fine. Very mad look at him. Trico, look at him eating these hits. I meant to say that Mudkip would just divorce trico and move on. No, there's no divorce in this relationship. All right. Only in um, only with Mudkip there. There, is. I made it. Geico coming through. There it is. If you don't want to miss, you can do water gun. There you go. You're good. Could you wait any longer to tell me? <laughs> well, at the pace you click your moves normally, I should have had another 10 minutes there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to beat the first gym. What? 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 Geico is evolving. Save 10% or more on your car insurance by switching to Geico. All not right. sponsored. <laughs> we are not sponsored by Geico yet. So Again. I lost? Oh, yes. It seems that I still have much more to learn. Bam, groy ball. Oh, it reminds me of my little Trikaboo. I know. I, I'm so. I'm actually surprised that you, you gave up on. You, you let me have Trico. Think that trainers received that they defeated gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone badge. <laughs> there you go. So there it is. You beat our first gym. That's deserving of a high five. I'll take it. I think that's worth a high five. What do you think? You think that's good? You happy? You excited? Yeah. First gym badge. Yeah. Seven more to go. You ready for the rest of this journey? Yay! All right. We're making progress here, guys. I think we're going to wrap this episode up a little bit Rock early. Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb. That's actually a good move. Tomb, you need to do a couple tomb, things. Tomb. I think we're going to wrap this episode just a wee bit early since we've got so much excitement over beating the gym. We're going to go, uh, gonna go ah! celebrate. We're, we're going to go celebrate, so. Are we really? Where are we going? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Friendlies? Yeah, we can go to Friendlies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for us. Thank you so much for watching these first five episodes of The Love Lock. Hope you guys are stoked for more. Uh, we should either, we'll probably do one more episode prior to our honeymoon. Otherwise, uh, you'll pretty much be uh, seeing it when we get back. I don't know, one of the two. But either way, thank you for watching these couple. Don't leave, don't leave. You can't leave the room. You gotta stay in the room. You gotta stay. I think you trigger a cutscene if you leave. So that's gonna be it for us, guys. Uh, my name is Dan, also by A-Drive. This is, uh, what's your name again? Danny, HF, something like that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys later. Peace. Peace. <laughs> I can't not laugh. <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs>